Darnell Wright is an absolute mauler. It's really fitting that the Bears are the team to draft him because the guy is basically just a grizzly bear himself, listed at six foot six, 335 pounds, and that size really shows up on the tape. This is a guy who just puts dudes on their asses. He erases defenders from the play over and over again. He's got a mean streak on him too, so he's more than happy to drop all that weight right on top of guys he just put on the ground. And he should not be able to move as fast as he does at that size. You get him in space, he is a problem for anybody smaller than him. Now, while obviously the pancake blocks are a ton of fun and that's what's gonna get all the attention, Darnell Wright's calling card in the run game was really his ability to make space. Now, for example, here's a guy in Desmond Watson who is listed at, I believe, 440 pounds this season. 440 pounds. No problem. We're just going to move you on out of the way, run right behind you, touchdown. And that was the MO for a lot of the Tennessee Volunteers run game. It was send Darnell Wright on a down block and then have the running back just follow right behind him in that crease. You saw it a ton in the red zone. You saw it a ton in goal line or short yardage situations. It was pretty much their bread and butter. And he was prone to serve up some pancakes here and then in those plays as well. But as I said, the pancakes get all the attention. What doesn't get as celebrated, but is really just as important, if not more, is look at some of these lanes. I mean, come on. He clears that DT all the way back into the left and then has the presence to go get the other guy. Basically makes that lane all by himself. I could have run through that. Now, when Tennessee pulled Darnell Ray and got him moving, got him in space, that's when you really got a chance to see his freakish athleticism show itself. But as you might expect, you also saw a bit of shakiness to his fundamentals. It was little things. For example, when he's pulling, he had a tendency to lean pre-snap, and that's something that his coaches at the NFL are definitely going to try to drill out of him. Also, didn't always take the best angles, didn't always keep the best balance when he was in space, so that would lead to things like this against Georgia where he's just blocking air. But for the most part, he's an excellent puller. He's going to get to his spot quickly. He's going to get that head turned downfield and he's going to get solid contact on a guy. I think it's going to drive really well with what the Bears like to do on their offense. They love to get their big linemen, especially their athletic ones, moving into space, create mismatches against smaller guys and let them do that. So yes, his run blocking is awesome. His pass blocking is not lacking either though because Darnell Wright comes pre-packaged, fresh out the box with an elite snatch and trap move. And if you're not familiar, I'll break it down for you real quick. Basically, he's gonna allow the defender to make contact with his chest or shoulders. He's gonna get his arms on top of the defender's arms, and then he's just gonna push straight down. And if the defender's balance isn't excellent, they're probably gonna hit the deck. It was his bread and butter. It's pretty much an offensive lineman's best counter for a good bull rush or power rush. Here against Florida, you're gonna see the defender attacks that outside shoulder with one arm. Darnell Wright immediately goes for wrist control on this free arm. The defender has to focus on getting that free, which he does, does not make an impact on the play. Now this is not a snatch and trap, but what it is, it's a setup for later when Darnell Wright does execute it. Different rep, same move from the defender. He's gonna attack that outside shoulder with one arm. This time Darnell Wright, I'll just let it play in slow motion. He doesn't care about that free hand this time. He immediately goes right for the attacking arm. Defender is eating dirt. And because Darnell has that mean streak in him, he's going to lay down on top of him. Pretty common to see him dive bomb these guys after he put them on the ground. Big guys, they can get it too. Here comes big old zero from Kentucky. Sit down, sir. Thank you very much. And it's just pretty much effortless for him. I mean, he went to this well repeatedly. Defenders couldn't really do anything about it. Smaller defenders, sure, he'll just hold that arm. He'll just get wrist control on both hands and hold you there. And again, it's effortless. He's just taking guys out of the play. Of course, there is that one huge, huge factor when you are trying to evaluate college players, and that is the fact that they're in college because the level of competition, it just varies so much depending on what team you're talking about and the nuances of the schedule that season. But when it comes to Darnell Wright, you cannot hold that against him. The guy had basically about as good of a strength of schedule as you could ask for. He faced a who's who list of pass rushers, usually one-on-one -on -one in those matchups. And just in general, the teams that he played against in 2022 were just quality teams with quality defenses. Teams like LSU, Florida, Pittsburgh, uh, Clemson, South Carolina, 
Georgia, and of course, his crowning achievement, Alabama. Now, when Darnell Wright played Alabama, he basically shut out Will Anderson Jr. Will Anderson Jr. was the bell of the ball this season in terms of defensive prospects, and he just did not make an impact on this game. And that's just so great to see from Darnell Wright, where arguably his best performance of the season came against his toughest opponent. Now, is the Alabama defense NFL caliber? Of course not, but it's about as close as you can get at the college level. So I don't see how the Bears fans could be anything other than insanely excited for this guy. He's the prospect of a generation. He looked amazing in college. There's really no red flags to be seen. And he gets to be lined up next to a great veteran in Nate Davis. I think the right side of that Bears line is going to be extremely formidable this season. And for years to come, the sky is seriously the limit for this kid.